Hello there, this is Mrs. Carr. Have a look at the title of this book. It's called Camouflage, written by Andrew Gunn. What do you think we are going to learn about? We're going to learn about the word camouflage. Have a look at the front cover. What animal can you see? Oh, it's a gecko. This animal is called a gecko. It's a small lizard. Let's go on to the next page. This is the contents page. The contents page tell us what's inside the book. The numbers on this page shows us the page numbers. The writing besides the page number shows us about the contents. What page is hiding in the sea on? It's on page 8. Let's go on to the next page. The page number is written at the bottom of the page. This is page 2 and this is page 3. I want you to look at these two pictures. In which picture can you spot the gecko more easily? Yes, you're right. It's the bottom picture. What is the difference between these two pictures? In the top picture, the gecko is camouflaging, means it's hard to see. In the bottom picture, the gecko is not camouflaging, means it's easy to see. Now I'm going to read the text. What is camouflage? What can you see in this photo? An animal? A plant? Can you tell which parts are the animal and which parts are the plant? Many animals have colors, markings, or shapes that make them hard to see. This is called camouflage. The animal in the photo is a Wellington green gecko. It lives in the tops of trees. Birds live in trees too. And birds eat geckos. The color and markings of this gecko help it to hide from the birds. Can you find the word in bold print on page 3? Yes, the word in bold print is camouflage. Now, what is camouflage? Camouflage is when an animal have colors, shapes or markings that make them hard to see. Over here, the gecko is camouflaging by changing its color to the color of the tree and it has got white markings like sunlight. The color and markings of this gecko help it to hide from the birds. That's all for today. Thanks for listening.